to my channel. Um, after I got off work yesterday, which I have been working from home, I decided to uh, do a, a little crafting. I've been doing more crafting than normal because there's not a whole lot to do and I don't like to watch too much TV. I get bored with that. So I decided to uh, create a little project. Now, I don't know if it's ever been done before. It might have been, but I kind of thought of it in my own head. So I'm going to show you guys what I created. And by the way, because I like to keep my nails done. What I did was I ordered one of those dip powder um, kits uh, from Amazon and I did my own nails and they turned out okay. They turned out pretty nice. Um, so I did pick that up and I, that's what I did yesterday. So every day I've been trying to <laughs> uh, think, or day before yesterday, um, think of things to keep me busy and things to do. And plus I like to have my my nails looking nice, even though I'm not going anywhere. It's okay. I did it anyways. So anyways, let's jump into the project and I'll show you guys what I created. So I decided to create these fun little, um, card envelopes. So what I did, of course, I used my We Are Memory Keepers uh, envelope punch. And this particular card measures five by seven and a half inches this way. Um, so of course, you know, all the directions are on the scoreboard, but I will do a tutorial um, just to show you guys um, how I created it. Um, I did create a belly band um, for the card. And then what I did was I took some nesting dies and I layered them on top of each other. I did um, use foam tape in between to give it some dimension. Um, and then I went ahead and decorated. And by the way, this is uh, Maggie Holmes paper. I want to say it's called Chasing Dreams. I'm not sure, but I found it at, at the Dollar Tree, not Dollar Tree, at Tuesday morning quite some time ago. I found uh, one of her 12 by 12 pads. Um, so... After I um, I did some nesting dies, I did three of them, and then I put um, foam tape in between the second and the third layer. Then I took some embellishments. These embellishments are also Maggie Holmes, but they're probably from a different collection. But the good thing about um, her stuff is they all coordinate. She uses the same color palette for everything. So I went ahead and just used some ephemera pieces, and this is a chipboard uh, sticker, as well as this one. And I just put some random sequins on the card. But let me show you what I did. So let me slide the belly band off, which I did put a couple of sequins on here, which I didn't think about that, but um, hold on, let me slide that off. Um, so what I did after I created my belly band is I, I just, instead of putting an actual card on the inside of there, I just took some of the paper from the collection and I lined it on the inside and then I took some plain paper and then I stamped right on here. So now what I did, um, cause after I got done scoring my envelope, um, instead of using the, the, um, what is that thing? The scoring tool to flatten them. I just folded it by hand so that it would it would leave a little bit of space in there because when but if you do use that scoring tool it puts the everything you know really flush to the card itself so there is a little bit of fluff in here so if i wanted to put some like flat embellishments or something inside of the card i would be able to do that uh, since i just folded it by hand and it still has a little fluff left to it so i just love how these turned out um so that's the belly band and that's the card so i made a couple of them here's the next one and all of these cards are i use that same paper collection so i did the same thing with this one and i created my little belly band uh using the paper um this time i used a scallop heart and this time i only used two hearts so um i just go, went ahead and of course adhered this one to the belly band and then i used some pop dots there then I used some more of her cute little um, chipboard stickers. And this little XOXO was also uh, in the ephemera pack as well as this, which I did actually even put this up on some small pop dots. Um, and then I took some leaves back here. These were some ephemera pieces as well. And I kind of just did the same thing. So I'll show you 
um, how this one looks as well. On the inside, I found this cute little stamp um, at Michael's. All of the stamps that I have, I pretty much found at Michael's. Um, and I did the same thing. And like I said, you could fit some flat embellishments or die cuts or something cute inside of there um, by just folding it without, you know, uh, completely score or pressing it down with the scoring tool. So it has that little bit of give on the inside of the card. And then here's the last one that I did, which I love this one. So if you guys follow me, you know, I, I showed a tutorial on how to make these little fox faces. This one actually looks like a little raccoon, but um, I created that. I did the same exact thing. I layered two hearts. Um, this is a heart shape as well. And then I created the little fox. I put a little bow right there. And um, Anna um, gifted me some of these gold pom-poms. I believe it was Anna. Um, so I used a gold pom-pom for the nose. These cute little pieces are from um, Hobby Lobby. They have like a little gem kit. This particular love right here was in the ephemera pack as well, which I have no idea which Maggie Holmes paper line it was. But it doesn't matter because it matched perfectly. And then I just, again, put some more random sequins on there. So I just love these. I'm going to make a few more of these. How fun. And then here's the last one on the inside. I went ahead and stamped it. Oh, I might have it upside down. I do. And this one just says it's wine o'clock somewhere. <laughs> so really super cute. And I will, again, go ahead and do um, a little tutorial. It's pretty straightforward, um, you know, when you use your scoring tool. But... That's how they turned out, and I think that's super cute, and I just love them. So thank you guys so much for stopping by. Take a look at my video, and stay tuned for the tutorial, and I'll show you guys how to make these. Bye!